soon as I press record, he just starts singing. Of course, of course. Today I'm. Oh my God, we're just in a singing mood today, aren't we? Today I'm going to go over two different methods for naturally dying wigs. And I totally just touched my own hair, even though we're not dying real hair. We're dying wigs. So this is the wig I'm going to be dying. Um. And apparently the bird really likes it. Well, bird, this just ain't gonna work because I need to hold this wig the whole time, so you need to go away. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you can't be here. I know I'm sorry. Don't sing from the living room. You're supposed to be quiet. Ugh. So this is the wig we're gonna be dyeing today. I got this from Lovejoy Net, which they're an online cosplay supply company. This is their long golden cosplay wig. I don't know, the names are really long because they're like character inspired. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description below. So this is the one I got. It's very long. It's actually 38 inches long and I'm gonna be using this for my Honey Lemon cosplay. So it already has some natural differences in the wig. I don't know if you can tell. But it has some natural highlights and lowlights in it to kind of give it a more realistic look. So to try to get that natural like dirty blonde color instead of this like lemon bright blonde color, we're going to be dyeing it with tea and with coffee. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find a pot and fill it with enough water to fully submerge your lid and start boiling the water. So for the first method, I am using tea. This is gonna give you a rather light and natural tone to it. And I'm gonna use one tea bag for every two inches of hair. So measure a wig and get out as much tea bags as necessary. And once your water is boiling, go ahead and add the tea bags. And I actually let them soak for about five minutes with the water consistently boiling. Go ahead and remove the tea bags before you add the wig. That way you don't have all of this mess tangled up in your wig. Turn the heat down to a simmer and add the wig. I let mine set for about 15 minutes. Um, how long you're gonna let it set is gonna be how dark you're gonna want the color to be. The longer you set with the more consistent heat, the darker it's gonna be. If you turn the heat off and only let it set for four or five minutes, it's gonna be a lot lighter and a lot less noticeable. So it's up to you, just keep checking it and rechecking it and let it sit longer if you feel like the color needs to be darker. Once you're happy, go ahead and remove the wig, but remember once the fibers are dry, the color is gonna be lighter than it is when it's wet. Now on to option two, coffee, 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 coffee. Okay, so I just choose to use a dark roast coffee for this because I figured the color would be darker. I don't actually know if that is true, but why not? I am also using a lot of it because I do want this wig to be of a natural darker blonde tone rather than really pale blonde. I'm actually going to be grinding up about two cups worth of coffee. Boil your water once more and add your coffee grounds. I let the coffee boil in a separate pot for about five minutes and then strained it into another bigger pot that's actually going to hold my wig. Once more, go ahead and submerge your wig into the pot and let it sit as long as you like until you get the color that you're after. Indeed, this makes the biggest mess. Oh dang it. Make sure you rinse the wig very thoroughly after every time that you dye it, whether with tea or with coffee. I made this mistake after the coffee one and didn't really scrub it and I ended up having a little bit of fine ground stuck within the fibers. So really, really try to rinse it out with cold water until it runs really clean and you don't find any coffee grounds or tea particles floating around in your wig. And I like to hang my wig outside to dry in the sunlight, but you can also use a hair dryer to speed up the process. So this is what it looks like dried out of the pot. You can see it is very crinkly and stuff from the heat, it did set it. So I'm gonna go over the whole thing with a straightener then show you the final look. This is the finished look of the wig after I tea dyed it and coffee dyed it. So you can see it's a very natural type of dye. It still looks like a blonde color, but it's not as ashy. It's kind of more dirty. 
The top of the wig is rather thin. You can see the wefts kind of showing through, but I'm doing Honey Lemon with her outfit, so she's gonna have the helmet on, so it doesn't really matter the top of my wig. I just needed it to be the right length, and I do like that it is dual toned with the highlights and underlights to it. And they still come through even after dyeing with tea or with coffee. I can still see the highlights and the lowlights that were came in the natural wig fibers. Overall, the wig is gonna work really, really well for me. It's the right length, it's pretty long. I might need to add um, some darker layers in like the bottom half of it because I feel like the underneath of Honey Lemon's hair is a lot darker than on the top, which is very natural for hair. So I'm probably gonna end up dyeing my wig just a little bit darker for my personal cosplay, but as for the coffee and the tea dyeing, this is gonna be about your outcome. So that's it for my wig dyeing tutorial today. Um, if you like cosplay and other awesome tutorial type things, don't forget to like or subscribe to my channel. That's it for today. I will see you next Wednesday. Bye. Bird, you better stay there. I hear him flying. He landed, it's okay. <laughs>